next on Pacific Island Food Revolution. Hello, season two teams. It's your turn to represent Vanuatu. Three passionate teams from Vanuatu. We have to get our flavors right to prove we belong here. Showcase the finest Nivan cuisine. Take three cheapest crops and transform them into fabulous dishes. Ten minutes play with is that now, yeah. And add their own innovative twist to some everyday crops. We want to show local Vanuatu food can be creative. And Amy Taf Tumas. But the pressure is on, and you never know when things might boil over. Five minutes, guys, and only five minutes. It's just soaking through my hands, and it's not looking too good. We want our dishes to look perfect. Of course. All three teams battling to represent Vanuatu in the finals. Last season, Vanuatu flew all the way to the top of being the first winners of Pacific Island Food Revolution. Team Vanuatu, Leo and I. Not only is Vanuatu home to lush rainforests, rich volcanic soils, and the hippest marketplace in the South Pacific, it's through last season's teams that we learned of Vanuatu's great hidden treasure, its profound Melanesian cuisine. You can see why they say happiness was invented here. Welcome back to the magical islands of Vanuatu. I'm Basil. I'm Annette. And we, we are, are the Foodie, foodie doctors. doctors. I'm a general surgeon. I work in a Northern Provincial Hospital in Santo. My love in uh, surgery is uh, working with children. My focus is paediatric surgery. I'm also a doctor. I'm now doing my master's in Papua New Guinea, studying to be a pediatrician. Annette and I uh, met each other at Villa Central Hospital. She's in the children's ward and looks after children. That's been a shared experience that we enjoy working with children. It's just something close to my heart. With healthy children, we'll have a healthy future. Doing this program is an opportunity to voice that to the children, not only in Vanuatu, but in the Pacific as well. When we're not working, we enjoy our quiet time. It's usually Basil that's cooking. Basil is a very confident person. Really? In a good way, sometimes. So I'm really the beauty in this team, isn't it? I think I'm the beauty. I make you look good. Beauty and the brains. <laughs> <laughs> we like to laugh at ourselves and we don't have any problem with people laughing at us. That's what food culture in the Pacific is all about, is about laughter and love and uh, having fun. So the foodie doctors are ready to bring that to the food revolution. The food always tastes better when you have fun anyways. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We'll work very well together. And I think we feed off each other and we hope to bring some creativity to it. That smells good. Food makes up a very important part of our families. Yeah. When we get together, it's usually around uh, very nice food. And that's the attitude that we've learned from our parents, sharing food to be able to connect people. I think this is ready for the family. Ale, if we win this for Vanuatu, it'll be a good platform for us as health advocates. Samu! We also hope that it will inspire the younger generation in Vanuatu and around the Pacific to make healthy choices at all times. I feel uh, very proud that Vanuatu is the current champions of the Pacific Food Revolution. 
We're here to compete and defend the title and make sure that Vanuatu comes out on top again. Look at me back again to Vanuatu. Hello, season two teams. Season one was a beautiful experience. We were able to showcase Vanuatu cuisine to the world. Now it's your turn to step up to represent Vanuatu. It was quite exciting to be standing in front of Robert and Fatasi. Fatasi is the queen of yeah. Vanuatu cuisine. Yes. Big celebrity chefs make me a bit nervous, both of us. Who can forget that moment when the island boys won Pacific Island Food Revolution for Vanuatu? Proud moment for Vanuatu when Knox and Leo won the first food revolution competition. They stay true to who they are on the world stage with their gorgeous island kaikai. I'm so happy to have you today. Your hometown hero, Leo Busilai. Hi, Robert. Hey, buddy. It is so nice to see him. He's a new champion. Happy to have him with us. Hello, Olgeta. It's great to meet you guys. I'm so happy that you have been able to make it to the show. Uh, I've been there where you are standing now. It's a little bit nervous. Focus on your food culture. Just be yourself and you'll make it there. I have realized my true passion in making sure that the local food culture of Vanuatu is shining bright to the world cuisine. Seeing one of our own come and say, hey, local food is the healthy option, it's really empowering for our communities and the villages that it goes to. I am currently working with the Vanuatu Skills Partnership Program encouraging restaurant owners to promoting local producers, using local island kakai in the restaurant. Harem Leo, you make me more comfortable. He spoke in our language and Bishlam just started talking and he yeah. felt like, oh, he's one of us, it's okay, he'd been through it, we can do yeah. this. Your challenge today is to take three of the humblest, cheapest crops, crops that are available year round and transform them into fabulous dishes. These crops are yam, island cabbage, and pawpaw. Leo's made dishes from these crops as an example, just to get your creative juices flowing. So I've created a yam salad. I've used pawpaw seeds, mixed in fresh coconut milk, some nangai nut oil, just a little bit of citrus in there to give it a bit of flavor. Yeah. Next up, a version of simboro, pumpkin, fish, and I've rolled it up like a sushi. And lastly, is my dessert, popo and pineapple toast with coconut syrup, traditional local nuts, sour soup and mint, one of the simplest dishes you can get in the islands. The healthy food message is important because it promotes unique food this country has. Honestly, who would have thought that those ordinary crops could look like this? I think it's obvious why Leo was one of the winners, season one of Pacific Island Food Revolution. Come up and have a taste. Normally those dishes are meant to be eaten just like that. No meat. It was good. It was delicious. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed that meal. We want to steal yeah. his ideas. <laughs> That's all. We want to steal his ideas. No. Yeah. We're sharing information. Leo, he make one good flower, blood teach him all man lo, alan kakai. You now have 10 minutes to select your ingredients from the pantry. You have one hour to cook your dishes. And the one hour makes us a little bit nervous. So is everybody clear on the challenge? This challenge is going to be difficult. What can you do with just island cabbage? What can you do with just popo? Just popo, the simple popo, well, um, it's going to be challenging. They look like nervous smiles to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, team, 10 minutes play with like is that now, yeah? I wish I had a pantry like this in my home every, every day. day. Take some of these chilies. Oh, there's some very nice fresh vegetables. Seeing the crops give us lots of idea to what we're gonna create. Popo, bananas. Yeah. We wanna show local fano to food you can be creative. And Amy Taf Tumas. You want to get some carrots there? Yeah, another basket there. And then can you grab some of those green coconuts as well? 
trying to pick out which ingredients we wanted. So we, to be safe, just get everything in that little time. <laughs> yeah, that's what we ended up doing. <laughs> we work as a team in the kitchen, and today we work as a team. Got everything we need to cook. We're ready to compete. COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulubinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands, often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together. And shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colors of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally, and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together, and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. I'm Rose, I'm Anita, and, and we, we are, are the Kitchen Queens. Anita and I work together in the kitchen at Prakas Beach Resort. I work as a pastry chef. I started working when I was 16. Food to us is very important. We use different style of cooking, but we're a team at work. We're good together. <laughs> That's how we build our relationship, knowing each other and working together as a team. But my favorite place to cook is at my home, my island food. Where I come from, we only cooked on fire. We use all local materials to cook all local food. In a plate, you have to put three types of things, vegetables, meat, and also the root crops. With the island food, it's important we eat fresh. You don't need to go to the supermarket. We want to use all Vamatu ingredients. When you make food, you make something with your heart. Most popular food at home is lap lap, and my traditional food, nalot. It's healthy, easy to get from your garden, and it's quick to cook. Anita, what would you think the churches will think of this dish? Ooh, we love it. I think the most thing about Vanuatu that is different from other places, it's a local food, it's food. We want to show the world how we prepare our local food, show them how it is cooked, how it looks, how healthy it is, and how important is our local food to us. Now we're going to feed our family. Kids and families. Yay! Fruit brings everyone together. It brings us unity. When we cook food from this place, all of my family gathered together. Okay, baby. Now I'm in the food revolution. I want to have fun, enjoy the experience. Yeah, and if lucky, I'd like to win. <laughs> It means a lot to us, so I think it's better for us to show the world how to cook our local food. Anita, you ready? Yes. <laughs> what a beautiful day here at Breakers Resort for your first challenge. 
You've got your ingredients and your cooking stations. You've got one hour for this challenge. Leo has shown you some great examples. Now it's your turn. Okay, teams, your time starts now. Yes! I'm gonna start with the popo. You got a knife there. I'll just peel the yam and then we'll get started, huh? Today we're going to be making yam bombs. And we're gonna make a Pacific popo salad. And we're going to finish it off with sole soup. What is nice and boiling, just the way we want it. There's no better day for doing some Pacific Island cooking. This is going to be a clinical operation. We've got our tools ready, we've got the processes ready, and it's smooth sailing from here. So you now put the chocolate yeah. both of them inside the board. Okay. We're gonna be making Ronita yam, stuffed inside the choco. I will make island cabbage salad. Okay, Rose, yes. what you gonna do the next? And our popo dish would be popo layer juice. This is the recipe from me and Rose. We make together. We can do this, right? Yes. Okay, we go. Do you want a corner choose in the No, the just dish? Uh, separate okay. it, please. Today we're gonna make uh, island yam curry, a warm alduk salad, and popo fruit salad. We are making traditional food with a Siberian twist. Salas, we're gonna do this, right? Yeah. We're the Safarians. I'm Patrick. I'm Salas. And, and we're, we're the, the Safarian boys. boys. Salas and I are good friends. We work together as a team, and we started cooking together as a chef. I started to learn how to cook when I was 10. My mom taught me how to make a symbol. My mother taught me how to cook, starting with a pot of rice. You know the competitions? We had to do our best. Something creative, yeah? Yes. I enjoy cooking with uh, Silas. I learned from him as well. No, this is healthy food, yeah? We, yeah, it's healthy. Eating, yeah. Using a little bit of coconut cream, yeah? Yeah, we're just gonna use the coconut cream. He's the boss, Silas is the boss. He cooks better than me. I know myself, I have confidence in me, but I know he's the boss. Okay, boss, we cook now. Okay, let's do it. Our cooking style is a bit mixed, but to me, being part of the Pacific Island Food Revolution gives me more ideas of what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna experience in the future. Mmm, boss. You like him, smell ya? Thanks. You like him? I want to become a great chef one day, start my own business. My dream is to promote and sell local island food. Okay, Yumiko Kakai now. Okay. You like Yumiko? Yeah, Yumiko. Okay, Temlo Kakai. Okay. Bon appetit. When I see families or my friends entering what I cook, it makes me happy and thinking of cooking more and more. Kare, nice way. Thank you, Thomas. What I want for the future for the Fanoju people is to be healthier, eat more local food, and to live a long life. I'm representing my village and my province. And Fanuatu as so, well. Yeah. That's the one. Severin boys, we are ready, ready for, for the, the revolution. revolution. Never had to cook under pressure before. <laughs> we can work under pressure. <laughs> cook under supervision, but not under pressure. <laughs> this, is this, almost, <laughs> this is worse than being in theater. All right, so I've got my yam there. Little bit of salt just to hold that yam together. 
and now I wait. What else do you want me to do? Oh, that's all right. You can work get on the your carrots. get your your stuff, your filling done. Okay. I might just start with the capsicum. Eh? Part of the yam bombs is going to be um, the filling inside, and then a nice uh, crunchy outer crust, hopefully. It's always a nice surprise to eat something and have, have a, a surprise yeah, inside. A surprise inside, you know. Surprise element. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel okay. Kind of tuned out everybody else. <laughs> what about you? Hopefully you don't tune out me as your partner. We need to be... It's called selective be hearing. Work, we need to be working as a team. Got you, got you, got you. <laughs> uh, Rose, I'm gonna chop up the vegetables. This is the filling for the choco. You need to create some of the um, ginger. Yes. And the turmeric. Yes. Create half of the carrot. Yes. Ronita yam is our own creation, part from my island and part from Anita's island. Choco. Start to cooking nicely. Okay, the yam, how is going? We can fill up choco with mashed yam. We want the flavor to be creamy. The pizza. Oh, yes. And crunchy. <laughs> Just remove the yams from the pot. Yes. And then you got to start doing your cabbage salad. Lot of dish to do in one hour. But we just work as a team. Kids and queens are doing good, right? Yes. <laughs> Patrick, I'm doing a yam curry. So I'm going to cut and boil. How's the coconut? So right now I'm uh, trying to get a coconut cream for the curry and uh, also for the cabbage. My grandmother made the best yam curry. It's a simple, but it was delicious. My grandmother is a great inspiration to me. By keeping those recipes alive, makes my grandmother still close to my head. I'm chopping some chilies to go with the, the yam curry. I really love chili, so it, it would be nice. A bit uh, spicy. Salas? Yeah. I'm uh, trying to get the cream out of this coconut for the curry. The trick to doing this is uh, can with two muscles. Yeah. That's the one. I think so. One, That's the one. <laughs> Now, where was that masher that you showed me before? Ah, oh, the peeler was underneath here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can you show me? <laughs> Did you just find the peeler? <laughs> That's all right. Did it the island way? No peeler, cut it, yeah, it with the knife. Guys, we got 45 minutes left. How are you doing? I think we're doing all right. Um, we're still working on getting the ingredients together. It's our yam dish, we call it the... Uh, Yam bomb. I called it the yam balls yeah. and you said yam bomb. So we're calling them bombs. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yes. <laughs> when you're doing your dishes, I just want to add, think of adding nuts and all this. Just to yes. give it a bit more of yes. texture and flavor. Definitely. Absolutely. Thank you. It sounds great and it's smelling good already. Thanks, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Appreciate it. The yam is cooked now, so I take it off the heat and start to mash the yam. I'm also adding the nangai into the yam. And it's going to add a bit of crunch to it, I think. This will surprise the judges. Party in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you want them. You want them to go. Hmm, this is interesting. All the different uh, colors, different textures. I think we owe it to them to give them something new. To get a good yam bomb, you need the consistency of dough, so that you can make a dent, a well in the middle, and then fill it up with the filling. Shape it nicely. And and get a good shape to it. That's right. Yeah. It's actually not coming together as we planned. <laughs> it's too runny. I'm pretty worried that the yam isn't thick enough to be able to shape into a bomb. Teams Vanuatu, you are 30 minutes down, 30 minutes to go. Go Vanuatu! This is more stressful than surgery. I am starting to panic. If we don't get this right, we're definitely going home.
COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulabinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands. Often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together. And shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colors of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally, and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. I start to shape the first yam bomb, and it's not looking too good. At the moment, it's like swamp mud. It's just soaking through my hands, and it's sticking to my fingers, and I can't get it to roll into a ball. It's too runny. Do we have uh, anything to make it a bit thicker? We add flour to it. Oh, we add, add some flour to it here, huh? After you turn them with a spoon, eh? There's money of flour there, so we used three or four spoonfuls of that and just started stirring it, and it started to become a bit firm. Ah, oh, that's just the way I wanted it, actually. And so we just added manioc flour to it. Put a little bit of the stuffing, not too much. That's feeling a lot more like how I wanted it, thanks to the manioc flour doing its trick. So we were able to get that firmness and make the bombs. Nene to the rescue. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Hey, you're doing that better than I did. Okay. I learned from the best. <laughs> now dip it in the egg and then get them in the hot fryer. Now that Nene has saved the yam bombs, save the bombs. I, I, <laughs> I need to cook them in hot oil to get that golden crust to it. Hey, the first one's not turning out too bad, Nene. Sure? If we can just carry on like that again and make a few more, we'll be right. Here I'm doing the uh, fruit juice. I'm peeling the uh, popo. Popo is a main fruit. And you plant them in? Yes, plant them. Plant them pineapples. To make our layer popo juice, you need six different juices. Pineapple, star fruit, passion fruit, popo, orange juice. Sabo -sabo. And popo and sub sub. Sabo -sabo. <laughs> she plant everything every fruits, and then we put in a layer. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that's nice. Kids and adults love this juice, and it's a great way to get lots of fruit in your diet. Ladies, how are you doing? Are you feeling the stress? Yes. yes. <laughs> Just the way you said yes <laughs> sounded like stress. What are you making? This is the popolea juice, capit salad, and we're doing the ronita yam. It's a mash yam with all kinds of phages and spice, and it's filled in a case of choco. Oh my god. Wow, that's so That nice. is beautiful. I'm excited yeah. for that. We're going to leave you alone yes. because I can see you needing to be right here. Yes. It's up to us. <laughs> so I'm doing the Sauce for the onion cabbage. Onion cabbage? Yeah. For the warm duck salad, we share ideas. So when we do it, we share the works together. I'm blending the onion cabbage. Yeah. yeah. We got to keep working as a team. Several boys. Yeah? OK, yes. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, Patrick, I'm doing the egg now. Are you going to use the grill or the pan? Oh, just the pan. The eggs are the bed for the island rabbits. You see that? Okay, yeah. Okay. Hey! Wow, that looks. How are you like doing there, Silas? Um, good. I'm glad because I wouldn't want you to turn into the Gordon Ramsay of Vanuatu. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it nice and calm. Great smells, eh, Vitalcy? Mm, I reckon. I could stand there and I could smell the curry, the yeah. spices of curry coming out from here. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. Well, all the best, boys. It looks like you're in a really good position, so congrats already. Thanks. <laughs> They'll end their minds by saying, go away. <laughs> we are quiet, but we are determined to win. All good. Thank you. Good. Hello there. Hi. How you doing? Uh, uh, we struggled a little bit. Yeah? Uh, we had an idea about some yam bombs, but um, we're getting there. I think we've got two more to go. Remember, you just need to make enough to feed the two of us. OK. Don't make right. volumes. If okay. that's Maybe where your time enough. constraint sits. OK. Yeah. Thank you. We can do that. I saw you rubbing oil on your hands. I was going to come over and see if you could give me a massage. Is that, <laughs> is that possible? No, unfortunately, no. Not while we're cooking. We're in the kitchen. Okay. It's looking great. Right. Got the well, you've still got 25 minutes to go. OK. With good planning, yes. you'll be fine. Yep. We should get there, yes. Good. Up to us. <laughs> Getting there. Thank you, Tomas. All right. Thank you. Do we need another one or are we good? No, no, that's fine. All right, so what have we got left? How's the salad coming along, Nene? Getting there, getting there. This Pacific salad is based on a Thai popo salad, but giving it our Pacific touch to it as well. We've got green popo and carrots, cabbage, some beans. That's something that I enjoy going to the Thai restaurants and having. We're going to add our Pacific twist to it and mm. probably add a bit of our nangai nuts instead of the peanuts that they use. Getting those ideas from the different places influences our cooking. Yeah. I had a lot of friends from the Pacific Islands, so we'd just you know, cook up something together, share each other's ideas on how to cook different dishes. So yeah, I think our cooking is sort of mixed with a lot of different Pacific uh, background. I hope that our judges can see our innovation. Uh, we're doing ronita yam. The next next one is a stuffing, stuffing um, choco. In the boat we have uh, mashed yam, tomato capsicum beans, herbs, garlic, and turmeric. I'm taking some of these choco meats out from the choco. So I'll stuff my yam in this. Just fill this up. Our food today is traditional, but in a modern way. There's lots of fun out of goodness. And I hope that it's really what the church is going to like. It should take about three to five minutes cooking this. It will taste beautiful. Uh, the yam is almost. So, how's the bobo? Uh, finish, I'm just dropping some uh, mint. Just want to... Twist it a little bit. It's a really healthy fruit salad. It tastes great and no sugar. Looks great. The secret is uh, the color and the taste and the presentation. But Popo is the star of this fruit salad. Don't be that. OK, it's OK. And then now I need my cabbage. The last dish we need to pull together is the salt soup. This is my favourite bit. Yes. Just getting our fresh island cabbage nice and ready. We're going to put in some spring onions. We've got ginger, garlic. I can't even remember the name of that. Um, we're remember. probably not professional chefs. We don't even know the names of our spices, but we love putting them in because of the scent or the taste of it. <laughs> this is a quick, healthy, easy to make soup that you can do anytime and all year round all year round yeah mm. and now i'm just going to place in my island cabbage uh, it's got healing properties and for a lot of older folk like my parents this is one of the soup that they will have daily soup for the soul time's running out on us but this is a very quick soup that we can make and we hope it'll turn out just right in time in time right in time
COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulabinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands. Often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together. And shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colors of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. Teams Vanuatu, you are down to just five minutes, guys, and only five minutes. This is your last call. Now it's time for plating, finishing dishes. Don't forget to taste the dishes. It's such a small thing that can throw you right out of the competition. We're pretty close. Let's get some plates ready. The time is going really fast. I'm plating up the island cabbage salad. I'm putting the tomato, now I'm putting the eggs. We don't want to make any mistake. We want to win this competition. Patrick, what do you think? Does yeah, it look beautiful? Beautiful? Yeah. The selection of fruit is ready. I'm laying up a papa juice. Yes. Pineapple juice. Yes. Orange juice. Yes. And now I'm doing the passion fruit juice. Salt fruit and it's local, the best. Plating our layer drink, it takes a long time because we have to do one layer and the other, but we want our dishes to look perfect. Of um, course. Get them greens, go. It's nearly finished, yes. We're gonna plate it up on there. Yep. The soup will go in here. We've got empty plates in front of us. We've got our food that we want to put out in the way that we want. But uh, we're running out of time, so it's really stressful. We're like ducks. Very calm on the top, but uh, underneath the water, all hell is breaking loose. Maybe we should add something on the side of the balls to look a bit uh, presentable. <laughs> I was thinking, how are we going to make the balls look presentable? Whose nuts are these? <laughs> put the balls there, bombs. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> looks good, looks good. Super well done, everybody. Looked like it was really hard to get there, but you got there. A big thanks to Leo for all of his encouragement and his wisdom. Well done, lads. Ik ga blijven lalit af te maas. Koutin van Watu. We happy our things to turn up. We think our dish is as good as Leo's. We think. <laughs> but in our heart, yes. <laughs> is it one hour? Eh? One hour? That felt like felt long. Like... <laughs> oh, that was intense. That was crazy. We're happy with uh, what we've got on the table. Yeah. But I think the judges will be very surprised. Because we surprised ourselves <laughs> as well. <laughs> and, uh, and, and hopefully impressed. Yeah. Fair enough? Yeah. I think my grandmother would be proud. That was stressful. 
I think we've done enough to impress the judges, eh? We hope the judges will give us a chance. If we can make Robert and Batausi happy, that's already a big win for us. We don't want to lose. We don't want to go home. Just want to win this competition. See. We really wanted to impress the judges. We don't know if we've done enough to be in the competition. My dear Vitalsi, here we are again. First dish, Rose and Anita's choco stuffed with yam, an island cabbage salad, and the next dish is pawpaw surprise. Let's begin with our choco. This is beautiful. So much herbs and flavors. It's not overcooked, it's just right. You can just feel the freshness going right through mm. your mouth. So this no, is a wonderful great. dish. Mm. Let's jump into this island cabbage salad. It's this really, is really good. nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. In Vanuatu, we have posters that say, color your plate. The vibrant colors of fruits and vegetables that give us all our vitamin A, vitamin C. Fantastic. Yes. Let's jump into our smoothie, huh? Tap to mas. Tap to mas. Oh, lovely. It's not too sweet. No. They've chosen the fruits well. When you taste it, you can taste the different layers going through it. Yeah. The purple, the citrus, yeah. the passion. So bravo to the girls, huh? Yes, well done. I think they've done very well with the three dishes. So this is basil and then a sole soup, yam bomb, and then Pacific purple salad. This soup is as simple as it gets, very straightforward, but maybe from a nutritional perspective, it's got a bit of a deeper story. So let's jump into the soup. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm, it's light, but you can taste fresh herbs through this. If I was feeling unwell, this is the kind of food I turn to. That's true. Fatasi, let's jump into the yam bomb. Yes, I can't wait to try this. <laughs> Oh, it's stuffed. Yeah. Look how cute that it's is. It's got some chopped vegetables in yeah. the centre. It's a way to get kids eating. That's true. This range of colours by hiding them in something that's fried. That's yeah. always going to work. Yeah, it's always going to work. Needs a sauce. Yes. Right? They serve it with a kind of sauce that will grill you. Yeah. OK, Robert, let's start eating the salad. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. We've got so many different vegetables put into this without compromising the pawpaw. Makes a really beautiful texture. That it needed slightly more lemon. Apart from that, this is like a perfect coleslaw. Sure. Very nice. These are the meals from Silas and Patrick. This one, they call it Alto Warm Salad. We have an island yam curry and pawpaw fruit salad. Let's start off with the uh, alto Yeah, that salad. intrigues me. This is fantastic. This is beautiful. You know, the nangai nuts are just gorgeous on this. All mm. these different layers of the different textures through that. Mm. It's beautiful. fantastic. I like to see this on, on menus Re around definitely. town. And now for the island yam curry. I'm moaning, Vitasi. You are. This is a good sign. This is beautiful. The, the spices and the flavors for the curry. Who would think that a yam curry would taste this good? I know, seriously, <laughs> seriously. It's got a little bit of bite through it as well. Yeah, no, it's got a bit of Fiji in yeah, it. Yeah, so this mm. is really yummy. Mm. Well done, boys. Patrick and Silas's purple fruit salad. Yes. As good as it is, it is just a fruit salad. Silas and Patrick have showed abundant innovation in their other two dishes, but this is a bit flat. I think so too. Good fruit salad, but yes, that's but it. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Every single dish today speaks of the future of the food of Vanuatu. 
I think we better have a serious, serious chat about which way we're going to go on this. Definitely. COVID-19 has brought us a whole new world. One thing is clear, what we eat is more important than ever. Bulubinaka, Robert, you're right. Eating fresh local food helps your body to not only prepare and fight, but repair and heal. Hey, Dora. Talofa, don't forget to wash your hands, often with soap and water. What do you say, Flowalicious? Yes. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And remember, keep your distance. It's for your own safety. That's right. Now's the time to cook together. To garden together. And shop at your local market as families. What your children eat now will help their future health. Treat them to delicious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables. Peter, they're only protective foods. What about foods for energy and bodybuilding? That's right. Make sure you eat all the colours of the rainbow. We don't have to look anywhere else. We have all the produce locally and we have the traditional knowledge to guide us. We're all in this together and we can all get through this together. The revolution begins at home. Yeah, the foodie doctors have a lot more to offer in this competition. Now we hope the judges will give us another chance. We're feeling nervous. We don't know what's going to happen. Happy with the food that we cooked today. I don't think we've done enough. So here we are. Today you were given the challenge of creating innovative dishes with the most humble of crops. I'm so proud of you all, and I think you should be proud of yourselves too. Patrick and Silas. I grew up in Fiji, so that means I grew up on curry. My favourite curry is lamb curry, but my new favourite is island yam curry. You really know how to build flavours into a dish. That was exactly the right amount of heat. Your fruit salad was really a bit disappointing. Where is the innovation? We know that you've got it in you. I wish you called them yam balls. <laughs> they didn't bump at all. I love how you sneak vegetables into this dish and make them into a brilliant surprise. This is what we need for our kids. Cooked this way, they love them. I love the balls as well, but I would have liked a sauce with them. When I looked at your soul soup, I thought, really? Is that it? But when I tasted it, I was amazed at the depth of flavour you managed to weave into that broth. It tastes so good. The salad was a great idea, but slightly average. It could have been better with a little bit more lemon juice. Rosa Nanita, your Ronita yam dish was beautifully colourful. I love that you used the choco and you cooked it really well. Your pawpaw mixed drink was beautiful to look at. You know, it's drinks with bright colours that kids love, and I'd love to see them drawn to natural food rather than sugary drinks. Well done. Hearing that makes us want to stay in the competition. There was one standout dish today. It's a dish that should be on menus in Vanuatu everywhere. And that dish is... Patrick and Silas's Alto Warm Salad. Yeah! Nice one. You took a very ordinary ingredient, and that is island cabbage, and you turned it into something truly incredible. I would love to see that salad in every restaurant for tourists in Vanuatu. I agree, Batasi. That, boys, was the dish of the day. You know, we are quiet, but when we cook, we cook with passion. So here we are, 
One team has the ideas, one team has the execution, and one team has the consistency. We need all of these to really make a winning team for Vanuatu. What do we do? We actually need to see you all again. No one is going home today. You're going to stay! You're all gone! <laughs> you finally get your wish. Feel relieved. I clap to mass. Lo one we meet to play in the game. Yeah, the foodie doctors have a lot more to offer in this competition. Next time we make sure that judges love every dish. Ale you be doing.